So in today's video, we are looking at a breakthrough in lighter technology, and that would be the Brightfire fully electric lighter. Um, this particular lighter, as advertised, uh, basically defies the laws of physics. It laughs at thermodynamics. It spits in the face of science. Pua! This I, I this I've seen it advertised uh, many many times uh, here here on this uh, platform, um, uh, many times probably because I've watched it just just to uh, be in amazement of of the technology that this this little lighter holds and um, yeah so I bought one and uh, we're gonna check it out. What better way to start off this video? Let's let's go through the advertising video there and um, see see what they're talking about this here breakthrough in lighter technology so starting off um, it does not run on gas or bro or sorry butane instead it uses tesla coil technology produced up to 1800 degrees of a plasma f flame i mean we're squeezing basically the capacity of a plasma cutter into the size of a handheld device i mean that's amazing as you can see right here, it's making it first rechargeable waterproof lighter. I don't know if it's first rechargeable lighter. I've had lighters before that were rechargeable. And, and okay, I mean, hey, it's advertisement. We're gonna we're gonna stretch the stretch the, uh, the the truth a little bit. Again, waterproof and fuel free lighter. It was created by U.S. Special Forces. I mean that 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 means it's I mean, it's got to be pretty good if that's the case. It was kept classified for all those years. And now we get it. This was classified before. A groundbreaking electric lighter that uses dual arc plasma beam and light anything in seconds. Ah, I'm sold at this point in time, you know. Brightfire uses premium materials and runs entirely on a Pre-charged electricity. Just connect to USB charger. And in less than two hours, your lighter is good to go again. Apparently the U.S. government is trying to classify it as a military grade defense equipment to take it back off the market. So you better act fast or you won't be able to own one of these. That's also the reason why you can't buy this from web stores like Amazon or eBay. So don't bother looking. And that's it as far as the video goes. Um, well, outtakes from the video goes. But um, let's look at the actual website here. 100% uh, fuel free. Uh, 300 uses on a single charge. Strong and adjustable frame. And a safety lock. Gotta be safe. And the next page here, uh, we have the New York Times... Wall Street Journal, Journal, USA Today, NBC, ABC, CBS. Uh, it doesn't really say why it's got their logos at the top there. I'm assuming because they made stories about this product and that's why. And then just going on into the page, uh, military grade material. Um, if it's military grade, it, it's got to be good. 100% rechargeable safe and easy and that's about it as far as the the advertisements go for this guy uh one last thing to do is to plug this guy in and two hours later i guess we'll charge her up and take a quick look at it so um just gotta find where the usb port is well, that's the lock that's the flame adjuster a little no, it doesn't go in there you sure yeah Son of a bitch. All right, so <laughs> sarcasm aside, uh, obviously all of that was bullcrap in, in, in that advertisement. Um, I, I saw that ad numerous times on uh, this particular platform watching, watching videos. Um, yeah, so I bought it just to check it out. I mean, it is a smart-looking lighter as far as, as style points go. Uh, it is a 100% butane lighter. Uh, the only thing that is um, electric about it is the electric igniter 
um, no no plasma involved there. But um, yeah, so I saw it and I thought it'd be kind of cool to get a butane lighter. Uh, it just actually recently broke mine and um, get a butane lighter for, for uh, work that had a fairly large flame that shot out the end of it. Uh, thankfully, that, that part of it is actually real. And um, yeah, so I picked it up. Let's uh, take a look down on this thing, take a quick look at it. And uh, yeah. So this is it in uh, all its glory here. Uh, as you can see, there is no hidden USB port <laughs> or connection that, that I could I could find. Um, here's, here's where the gas goes in. Oddly enough, on their website and on Amazon's uh, advertisement for it, you could see the the gas port. Y you think maybe you would not have shown that if you were claiming this thing was a completely butane lighter. Now, getting into the thing, um, you can see clearly here, it says Joban, which is probably the actual name of this lighter. And what happens a lot, you'll see this... Um, mostly on TikTok, but pretty much anywhere. Is what what someone will do is they'll buy a they'll buy just a lot of these things, you know, fifty thousand of them, and then they'll do a little advertising campaign, and then you know, this one, honestly, this one has taken taken the the, the cake for total bullcrappery as far as as far as advertising goes. I see them stretch the truth sometimes, but this thing. This thing just, just goes way out of hand with it. And yeah, they'll, they'll take something, a generic product like this, uh, off of Amazon, uh, sorry, not Amazon, off of um, some Chinese seller. They'll get a little bit of money and then do an advertising campaign. And before everyone realizes realizes that it's a scam, you know, they, they've made their money. And, you know, they're probably getting these things for like two bucks a piece off of, uh, off of the old uh, uh, Chinese marketplace there. So while we're looking at it, let's, I mean, let's at least see how it works. So you got the flame adjuster here, which is pretty, pretty bog standard for, for a lighter. You do have a safety on the top here, on and off. And I switched to the thermal mat for, for the down view because of all this science I'm about to release on this thing. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to set my, my mouse pad on fire. And then you got the back here where you fill up the butane. Um, actually got to get a new bottle. This one's pretty much empty, but yeah, you just kind of hold it upside down, fill it up till it starts spitting out the end and then, and then the thing's all full there. Now the way it actually works is, well, let me grab a thing because they did claim up to a six inch flame on this guy. Let's see if there's, if there's any truth involved here. Um, kind of stick it right there. I'm going to unlock it. Turn it to full power. And you're not going to be able to see that. You know, let me turn this light off. Maybe you will be able to see it. There we go. You go to full power. Yeah, that's shooting out six inches, which is uh, kind of cool. Get the light back on there. And I got just a piece of eighth inch steel. I'm kind of wondering what kind of heat this bad boy pokes out of that six inches. I will let me show you too while I'm while I'm looking at it. Uh, the adjustable flame. Let me get it close so you can actually see it. It tunes way down to a more reasonable little one inch flame, which is kind of nice. But let's test it at full power on some steel. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot and burn my hand. We got the thermal pad, so we're safe. Ah, it's putting out some heat, I can tell you that much. Kind of wondering how long it's gonna last, too. As much, as much gas as we're putting out there. Let's see how hot we got it. That's a pretty good thermal load there. 360 degrees, it's spiked out at. It's definitely warm. <laughs> but 
but uh yeah so yeah, that's about it for the not so magic magic lighter so that is it for the bright fire magic lighter that defies the laws of physics um again it's it's just a butane lighter there's there's nothing too special about it aside from putting out a big old flame which is half the reason why I bought it. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Um, recently broke my butane lighter, and these things are good for at work when you're heat shrink and if you got to heat, heat up something really small with a controlled flame. And, um, yeah, that's why I bought it, and just for the for the lulls, as far as, as <laughs> go, going over the advertisements for this thing. Uh, like I said, on this platform, it's a little surprising to get um, such bullcrappery in an advertisement, but I think they've recently lowered their standard for monetization. And I think when they did that, they're kind of letting in a little bit, a little bit more cheaper advertisements come into the, uh, to the fold there. And this is one of them. And again, complete scam. Uh, personally, um, as for lighters go, it's a decent enough lighter. Uh, I think I paid 15 bucks for this on Amazon. So the part on, in, in their advertisements where it says don't even bother looking online to buy it, uh, yeah, you can get this pretty much anywhere. Um, I'll leave a link to it if you're interested. Um, like I said, 15 bucks is not bad for a butane lighter. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's worth it just to go on there and read the comments of the people who bought all the bull crap that went to the advertisements for this. I think it's got like a two, a two out of five rating, but I mean, that's what happens when you, when you lie to people. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it for the old, uh, magic lighter, <laughs> we'll call it. And, um, yeah, comments, concerns, leave them down in the old comments section. I will do my best to get back to you. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. There you go.